Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of ShimEG available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head on over to Kilkacon.com slash ShimEG and click the download now button and you'll get the latest version for your very own. So what's new in this particular version of ShimEG I hear you ask? Well let's look over at the new menu here which has been updated. So the ShimEG chooser is now always available for example and the settings area has been revamped. As you can see, there's a number of tabs here. The existing scaling options have more granularity. So we can now, for example, have one and a half times or half times scaling. Let's try some of these features out, like two times. There's also this new bicubic filter. Depending on the Shimiji you're using, HQX, the old filter, is still available, but there's also bicubic. So as a rough guide, if you're using sprites, like from you know an old console game, for example, the HQX probably will look better, but otherwise the bicubic is more what you're used to when you're, you know, working in Photoshop or whatever. So that's an option to try out, give them a go, see which one works best for you. And there's also the ability to turn the Shimiji chooser to be on every time you start Shimiji or not. So let's just give that a crack now, see what two times looks like. Here we go. There's also the ability to go to half times, which makes them particularly minuscule, but maybe that works for your particular screen setup. Anyway. There's also, as you may have noticed, a brand new feature here called Window Mode. Let's turn it on now, shall we? As you can see, we can configure the color and we can change its size here as well. Boom. So up pops the window. Now, sometimes they may be hiding off in the corner and you may just have to use Follow Cursor here to make them pop out. Generally, it tends not to be a problem, but if it happens to you, that's what to do. And as you can see now, we have our dudes in a window. So they will be confined to this window and you can also use this for streaming purposes, which I'll show you shortly. But yes, basically it just works as it, as it always does inside this window and you can resize it as you wish. Excellent. Now I'm not much of a streamer, I was always more of a YouTuber, so I don't have a lot of experience with OBS, but I might as well do a bit of a demonstration. As you can see here, you need to use the window capture as the source. And um, then you can chroma key out the background. So I believe under filters, chroma key. So I've just chroma keyed out the green. And yeah, make sure you use window capture. There's a wide variety of sources. You want to use the window capture. Um, there's no like integration or anything like that, but now at least you can have this image running on your screen. And obviously you can adjust the size so it fits with the widescreen like so. And there you have it. So. There you go, all working. You can finally have Shimiji on your streams. But there's more than just streaming. Oh yes. We can demonstrate some of the features here. Might as well use the window mode for it. So there is the new scan and broadcast jump functions. So it's gonna to have to be a little bit of sussing out of who's who here. But if we say, for example, broadcast the fortunes in air, and then we tell you to hunt jump, Boom! They then have a sky hug in the air. As you can see, the ability to have affordances now work with mid-air objects. They can leap from the walls. There's all these sorts of possibilities that are now available. Uh, so, hope you make use of them. But, I will show you how they work in a moment. So, let's bring the notepad window across. Here it is. So, the new broadcast jump. Basically, to think of it working like a regular jump action, just with the affordance tag added and of course um, so that's for the broadcast and for the scan again a similar story there's the broadcast and the behavior so it sort of works like how you're used to with scan move and with broadcast but it now just gives you that functionality to have mid-air interactions as well and for the sky hug as you can see here it's just a regular interact and that itself doesn't actually need a custom version it just it just works as it does so that is the new uh, tweak affordances. There's also the new, let's just dismiss these two, two shall we? Um, there's an update to hotspots as well. So as you can see, if I give this dude a pet, the blush changes color. <laughs> so you can now do, for example, let's say you're petting a dog and you want the dog to nuzzle your, your hand while you're, while you're giving a pat. That's now possible with the new blank hotspot. I'll show you how that works in code. Give me a moment. Over here. So as we can see, we've got the uh, sit blush, like the existing template that you can get. Um, but now there's also the sit blush anim, which I've added, which has a hotspot, 
but note that there's no behavior defined, it's just the hotspot. That's what allows the hotspot to remain, but without changing it away from the animation, because what was happening before, it was just continually restarting the same animation. So let's just scroll down briefly to where this is. So as you can see, the overall sequence is the blush animation, and then the regular um, blush with the hotspot that actually restarts the animation at the end with a duration of one. So that's what allows you to have a looping um, pat or whatever else you might be doing with your hotspot. And on top of that, there's a few other fixes and a few other features. So you could just hide all your Shimeji using middle click. The boss mode, as I call it. So just double middle click on the icon will hide all the Shimmy G. Obviously when it's in a windowed mode, you can just shrink the window, but when it's running normally, that will also work as well. Um, and there has been some other bug fixes, some under the hood, but one that's probably most relevant to you is that the interactive windows should behave a bit better on Windows 11. Uh, I've rewritten a lot of that code, so it should be behaving better. I have had some people give it a go. And of course, Last but not least, might as well mention the Patreon, which I don't really update much, but it is a case where um, if you want to support the work, feel free to check that out. And thank you to all the people who provided updated translations. Um, so Cassie's, Psycave, there's a number of others, um, Catchamon, Tetsumon, and of course, thank you to Snek for help with code as always. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time right here at Conflux Games.